Yay! Finally, after a long time, we are back to school. But COVID is still active, so prepare for some extra masks. Pick up your own book and pencils, and please avoid sharing. Every day, please wear a mask before getting on the school bus. This is good for you and your friend's safety. Maintain social distancing by staying six feet away from others. Wash your hands after you visit any public places or after coughing or sneezing. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. This ensures zero infection. Please wear your mask in indoor public places to stop the virus spread. If you feel sick, please let your teachers know and seek medical advice. We will return to normal life after the pandemic. So follow safety until then. Hello all and welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to easily create 2D animation videos using free online tool. Let me introduce you to Doratoon, a all-in-one online animation video maker which has thousands of customizable templates with royalty-free music for every business needs. Its easy-to-use platform enables you to create animation videos with your PowerPoint. So whether you are a business person or a person who shares knowledge with others or even if you are a marketing person. Doratoon has templates for all your needs. This online tool has many animated characters with thousands of facial expressions, AI dubbing with which you can easily convert your text into voice source, smart subtitling feature can convert your speech content into subtitles, PPT to video conversion feature helps you to import your PPT file and then create animations from it. So let's explore all its feature by clicking on workbench, sign in using your Doratoon account if you already have one or you can sign up using this option on the top. Or even you can log in using Google and Facebook accounts. After you log in, you will see the main online workbench of Doratoon. At the center, you will see all the inbuilt templates available in Doratoon. I really don't know how many templates are available, but this list is almost never ending. You name any of the scenarios, I am sure you will find a template for that. On the top, you can filter the templates under different categories like business, knowledge, Marketing, Education, HR, Product and others. Right below it, you can further filter the templates by choosing Free, Pro, Pro Plus and even the ratio of templates. If you place your mouse on any of these templates, you will see the animation showing the content of the template and if you like it, you can directly use them using this edit button or you can add them to favorite list. On the top left, you will find the option to create brand new animated video and explore all the templates using this option. At the bottom, you will see my video section which basically has all your animated video projects. Under my materials, you will find the images, videos, audios which are used while creating your animated videos. Finally, in my template section, you will find all templates which are added to favorite list. So let's go back to the template section, choose any of the template. I am going to choose back to school template here and then click on edit this template to open up the project window. Before we start editing this template, let's explore the user interface of Doraton online application. On the left side, we have important features and each of these features have their own subsections. On the top is the scenes, which basically has all the animated scenes from the template we have selected. Blank page option on the top will insert a blank scene after the scene which is currently selected and you can delete it if it is not required. Using the scene store, you can easily replace the existing animated scenes with the new scene of your choice. Next is the template section and it has all the same inbuilt templates listed vertically with the same category filters as the drop down. Next is the background under which we can find many templates to set them as the background of our animated scenes. And also, you can fill the background with solid colors. Next feature is the text and even this has many inbuilt text effects. You can select any one to add them on your animated scenes or delete them if not required. 
The character section has many inbuilt animated characters and you can select any of those characters to add them on your scenes. Under the prop section, you will find many transparent background assets and few of them are enabled with the animations and sound effects. Next is the sound section which has many inbuilt sound effects to use them as background music in your animations and it has filters on the top as per the categories and durations. Right above that you will find the option of record. The first option is meant to convert your text into voice overs. The second option will enable you to upload your own audio files and using the third option you can record your own voice using the microphone. Lastly under my section you will find all the images, sounds and video assets uploaded by you during the animation process and all your inbuilt favorite assets will be available in this tab under respective categories. On the top is the floating bar with some set of features in it and this comes very handy during our animation process. The first two options are meant for undo and redo your last action. The next option is of layers and it is just used to rearrange the animation elements one behind the other based upon your animation requirement. The next option is the grid and it will enable or disable the grids on your preview window. And the snap to alignment will help to place the animation elements as per the grid lines. Format painter similar to powerpoint is used to format the elements based upon some other element. This record option we have already seen and the next important option is the lens. And as the name itself says it is used to create lens zoom in and zoom out kind of animation effects. I will show its use in detail during my template editing process. Using next three options you can create your own custom drawings, add the text or even import the powerpoint presentation. And lastly using this option you can change the ratio of your animation scene. At the bottom is the timeline and few important things to notice here. At the middle you see two durations. The left side duration is of single animation scene in the selected template and the right side duration is of the total animation duration of all scenes put together. The button just beside that is obviously meant for play and pause. Using the blue color inverted triangle you can move at the any position within the timeline of that particular scene. And at the bottom you will see some rounded square boxes along the timeline and these are actually the different animation elements within the selected scene and the way they are placed along the timeline they are going to appear in the same sequence when the animation is played. Using this top plus and minus button you can zoom in and zoom out the preview window and using the plus or minus button at the end of the timeline you can expand or minimize the timeline width. On the right side we have a dynamic pane. I call it dynamic because it changes based upon the element we select in the animation scene. Say for example if I select one complete scene you will get the option to edit the background like you can swipe it with some other background element, delete it or upload your own image. You can also change the colors and adjust the opacity. Down below in the filter section you can adjust the properties like blurness, brightness, contrast, saturation and others. On the top you will find the layers tab and it just shows how each element is sequenced in a given animation scene. Now if I select any single element the right side pane will change into style and animation section and also on the top of selected element you will find short options like add actions, flip it vertically, animations, delete the element, lock it or even replace it with some other element. On the style section you will find few additional options like aligning the element, apply shadow effect to borders or even to the element itself and the filter section remains the same with the options like blur, brightness and of course this effect will be limited to element that we have selected. Under the animation tab you will see three sections. Stay effect is to control how the selected element will animate in the scene and entry and exit animations as the name itself says is to control how the selected element will enter and exit during the scene by applying different animations. I will walk you through all these options in the next section of this video. So as we have seen all the important features of Doratone, now let's see how to edit each scene in this selected template. So in this section we are going to see how to edit few animation elements, add zoom in and zoom out effects using lens option, add animation to each individual elements and finally how to add the background music and voice overs to each scene. Take my words everything is pretty much straightforward. So let me start with editing the text field. Just double click and type in the text you want to update it. 
On the top you will find the option to increase or decrease the font size, change the colors, lock its position or even delete it if not required. Shapes have some additional options like flip it vertically, add animations and replace the content. Let me replace this shape with another prop element, apply line path animation. You can also adjust the duration using slider below. Now just drag and place this element at new position and that will be the end animation point. You can see in the timeline that the animation of 2 seconds is applied to the go element and that's how it will animate. Now let's select our main school girl element. We have similar editing option on the top but let me jump into the animation tab here. Let's apply shake animation, adjust the direction, range and speed and then preview the animation. Now let's apply entry and exit animations. These are basically the same set of animations but opposite in nature. And that's how the final animation will look like with pop in, shake and pop out effects. Now let's go to sound section and then click on background music. Choose any one from the list and enable this tick mark to apply it. Let's add the voiceover using the record option on the top. Just click on AI synthesis and select the current page or scene. In the voice center, choose the voice you need. Adjust the speed if required and then type in your text in the box below. Good thing is, you can add the pause in between your text to make it more realistic. Once done, check the output. Hey! Finally after long time, we are back to school. And that looks perfect. And then click on add to video. Give it a name and then click on ok to insert it. Here is the preview with the voiceover and the background music. Hey! Finally after long time, we are back to school. That's perfect. Finally, let's see how to add zoom in and zoom out effect which I personally feel is a great feature. Let's enable the lens option and you will notice a blue color box appears in the timeline. This is the default zoom level and that is represented by blue color small circles in the preview window. In the timeline, you will see a plus symbol. By clicking it, we can add camera one box and its zoom level is represented by its own set of four small blue color circles. You can move this camera one box anywhere in the timeline. Let me move it to the position when the text appears in the animation. Now adjust the zoom level by dragging the blue color circles. Finally, drag and place this window on the text element to get the zoom in effect. Let's add camera 2 box and adjust the zoom level to full screen. Now if we preview the animation, we can notice zoom in and zoom out effects over the text element. Hey! Finally after long time, we are back to school. Similarly, you can edit all the different scenes. Let me skip the steps of adding the voice source because it takes some time to match the duration but the procedure will remain same. Once you are done with all the necessary changes, just click on preview on the top to see the entire animation. Hey! Finally after long time, we are back to school. But COVID is still active, so prepare for some extra masks. Pick up your own book and pencils and please avoid sharing. Once everything is set, just click on export button. Give this animation a title, tag and description. Let's leave the watermark to default and if you are a pro user, you can remove the watermark or upload your own watermark as well. Finally, select the resolution of your animation. It supports until 8010p and then click on OK to upload the animation. After uploading is complete, you will find this video under the my video section from where you can download this directly into your local computer or even export it into the powerpoint presentation. Let's download and then see the preview. Hey! Finally after long time, we are back to school. But COVID is still active, so prepare for some extra masks. Pick up your own book and pencils and please avoid sharing. Every day, please wear a mask before getting on the school bus. 
This is good for you and your friends' safety. Maintain social distancing by staying six feet away from others. Wash your hands after you visit any public places, or after coughing or sneezing. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. This ensures zero infection. Please wear your mask in indoor public places to stop the virus spread. If you feel sick, please let your teachers know and seek medical advice. We will return to normal life after the pandemic. So follow safety until then. That looks perfect. Last but not the least, even though I know most of the available templates will fit your requirements, if in case you need to create brand new animation, you can click on create new video on the top, choose the blank template, insert the number of scenes you need, add the background, text, characters, props, add the effects, animation for each element as I have shown before and then finally export into videos. That's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Feel free to explore all the different features of Doratone by visiting their official website and let me know your feedback through comment section. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.